So I thought I'd do a little piece today talking about uh, different types of tyres and not a tyre review as such. Uh, I don't do mega high mileages and haven't used thousands of types of tyres to uh, be able to really talk in depth. I'm going to talk a couple about the tyres I've had experience with but just to talk about sports versus sports touring tyres and I thought it might be useful to some people it took me quite a lot of years really with doing the miles I do, doing sort of I don't know, between four and six thousand miles a year to build up kind of experience with different types of tyres especially as I bought a couple of new bikes and so lived with what they came on for quite a long time not knowing any better really and I kind of started off with the more modern bikes that I rode uh, on quite sporty tyres with uh, Diablo Rosso's Pirelli's and they came on a couple of bikes I've had at different different times in my biking career uh, they came on the Street Triple I had uh, 2014 Street Triple and they came on my S1000R and I bought the Street Triple for partly for commuting and so used it with those tyres on all year round through the winter um, and so could talk about what those sports tyres are like pretty much at the wrong time of year um, they were great during the summer uh, sort of 20 degrees loads of grip um, not bad in the wet at that time of year but I did have them spin up on a few occasions, quite a few occasions. Um, they spun up on drain covers um, in the wet, probably when it was less than 10 degrees. Um, on the S1000R, they, I went on one tour up to Yorkshire and they were pretty much spinning up, coming off every roundabout in very heavy rain. And obviously you've got quite a lot of power on that bike, but I was trying not to be ham-fisted with it, but they would just spin up very easily. In, um, in that, those kinds of conditions. I think it was probably somewhere between 10 and 15 degrees then. Um, so you really have in those conditions, and particularly in the winter, it's like riding around on ice in the cold, uh, even when it's not icy. Uh, you really have got to ride around very carefully if you're going to run those kinds of tyres all year. And it wasn't until I bought an F800 GT, uh, before the SL that was, um, that I first experienced sports touring tyres and they were fitted with uh, Metzler Z8s and the difference in the wet when I first rode in those, either in the summer was like night and day They, I think they have a, a higher silicon content compound and um, you go around a roundabout and they almost they almost feel sticky in the wet it's really quite incredible you get so much feel from them still and quite similar at lower temperatures as well through the winter um, they just oh, they've just got so much so much more grip from the off um, really quite impressive and I suppose the question you might ask is uh, you know is there a compromise there so are they not as grippy in the hot weather in the summer well I've got them fitted on both my bikes now uh, and on the S1000R you can see my other video um, the British Superbike School that we did a track day and at no point during that track day did I think that the, the Z8s were holding me back far from it, it was very much my ability and, and that's a track um, there at Blyton Park that doesn't have an especially grippy surface it's just a normal road surface I think it's an old airfield so it's not like a track grippy surface or something like that so it's quite comparable I would say to riding on the road in, in some, some road conditions and as I say at no point did I, did I think on that day it's only really thinking back uh, did I think oh I'm being held back by the tyres here if I had some Diablo Rosso's or something like that I would be going faster absolutely not so uh, I think for most people who are road riding year round I just don't see why you wouldn't go for sports touring. Um, if all you're doing is summer track days, or is summer is track days, or riding around in the summer only in fine weather, then by all means, you know, you, you'll never know the difference. Go for a sports tyre, or if you're a hardcore track rider, 
I'm sure you already know know better and we'll get more out of you know more focused um, more focused tires but I think for most riders uh, your sports steering tire is going to give you everything you need uh, now I was tempted by those sort of in-between tires and as luck would have it when I bought the when I bought this KTM it came with um, Metzler Sport Tech RRs which is supposed to give you something in the middle of the best of both worlds and I, I would say that's probably about right they they weren't quite as good in the wet I had a few slips and slides in the cold um, I mean this is obviously quite a brutal bike in its power delivery anyway but um, over the winter I had some slides on them and then I got a puncture on the rear so I changed them for Z8s as well just because that's what I knew I hear the MT-01s are very similar um, possibly got oh coming in here are you Chief? <laughs> possibly uh, they possibly have a bit more um, dry weather grip perhaps I don't know but uh, then I got a puncture and that was that, changed them for the Z8s, so... Uh, so anyway, I hope that's of use to someone, or to some of you. Uh, as I say, it took a lot of years with doing the miles I do really to try a variety of tyres and to find out what I know now. Um, but hopefully that's of use to people. And uh, I highly recommend sports here in rubber. Well, there you go.